Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and this is another Windows Basics tutorial. And in this one, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use and why you'd want to use zip files in Windows. We're going to go over how to create them, how to compress them, how to add files to them. And I'm going to shout out a tool that adds more functionality to this. So a zip file is essentially a way to compress your files down and make them easier to send. Now let's say I have here a group of files that I want to send together to somebody or I want to upload them to the internet and make it easier to download. All I would need to do is select all of the items that I want to be compressed into the zip folder, right click on it, and then you're going to have the option to send it to a compressed zip folder. So if I just clicked on that, what would happen is it will begin the compressing process and it will create a folder on or in the same directory that you had those files in. So here I can name this something like I have a couple uh, VLC and setup files. So I could say VLC dash setup and that would be a compressed zip file. So for example, if I am to select all of these, go to properties, you can see it is 48.5 megabytes for all four files in a folder. If I go to this zip file, right click, go to properties, you can see it is slightly smaller. That is a very slight, but when you're dealing with files that are much larger, like a couple gigabytes, it can shave off even a couple 50 to 100 megabytes depending on the type of compression you're using. So that's one way to do it. Another way is if you are in a folder, so I had these on my desktop. If I, let's say, delete this one for now, and I select all of these files that I want to put into a zip folder, go ahead and click on share. You can see there's an option to share them to a compressed folder. So if I just click on that, it will do the same thing where it goes ahead and compresses it. I could call it something like VLC slash setup. And then there we go. Now with zip files, you could go ahead and open them up. So in the zip folder, you can't really edit things directly. Everything in there is as they are. So if I open this text file here and added some text, it's not actually opening the text file from this directory. What it just did, it was such a small file you couldn't tell, but it moved it to a temporary directory on the computer out of the zip file. So for example, if I were to try to save this, it would make me save it into a different directory because I cannot directly save or edit items that are in zip folders. Now that doesn't mean you cannot delete files. Well, I have this Microsoft Edge shortcut that I added in here. I can delete it out of there. Yes, and it will remove it from the zip drive. Now I could always open this text file, save it to a location on the computer, delete it out of the zip folder and add the new updated file. And that is one way to change things in zip folders. Now, one thing I will mention, the Microsoft zip system is not all that great. If you want to look into something like 7-zip, this it will allow you to do things like add a tighter compression. So it will allow you to make the compression even stronger and the file sizes even smaller. It will allow you to open up a wide variety of other formats. .zip is the most popular but you might have heard of .rar files, ISOs, and other compression files. It allows you to open up just about anything. Decompress, recompress. With this, you could send it directly to an email. It's a great tool. And that is the basics of zip files. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. This video is part of a series of Windows Basic tutorials, so go ahead and click the link in the description to see all of the other tutorials if you are new to computing. You go ahead and check all those out and learn some cool tricks, tips, tips and tricks in the Windows 10 interface. Have a great day and goodbye.